Hello, loves. Oops. I hope you are doing well. Thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting me. I greatly appreciate you. Okay. I invite you to a new reading. I want to look at you, what's coming up in the future, what you don't know unexpectedly, and what may surprise you. That's what I want to look at. Okay. From the time that you see this. Okay. Okay, the reading has begun. We have the Five of Wands and the Four of Wands. I think that you're thinking about something, right? Like you're contemplating something, whether you want to be involved in something, um, maybe how you want to rise above something. I apologize for the outside noise. We're just going to have to deal with it. I pray it's okay. Um, I don't know if someone is trying to entice you or um, I think too there's envy in here for something or someone. I'm going to say to you not everyone's life is exactly how it appears to be. And if you want something, if you want a lifestyle or something like that, get it for yourself. Use this as like an admiration, like, oh, I really do like that. Maybe this is something that I would like, okay? For some reason, I'm feeling the need to say that. I think someone crosses your path or you have a conversation with someone or someone expresses something to you. And I think that it is... Um, like accolades for something or I don't know I just feel like someone is kind of touting what they've got um, and that doesn't mean it's good or bad or negative or not it's just I think this will be the engagement that you're in someone comes to you and says something or shows you something or um, got a certificate for something or maybe they got uh, an award for something or there's recognition there somewhere and I think that with the Four of Swords, I feel like it's it's kind of like a time where you want to step back and maybe reassess your life, right? When someone changes their life or something pulls ahead, you're like, oh, I could kind of, maybe I should do something in my life like that, right? Like, or not like that, but maybe it's time for me. Ooh. Okay. And we have the Justice card, which is, again, this is a card of taking stock of ourselves, looking at our lives. Where is it balanced? Where is it not balanced? What do I want? You know, it's a card of um, just looking at where your life is. Where do you want your life to be, right? Surveying the land, taking a look around. Okay. get some clarifiers one second okay. all right I think here with this the five of wands and the four of swords I think like I said I think that someone is getting admiration for something someone achieved something um it, it's it's all eyes are on someone all eyes could be on you right now you're getting a lot of attention for something that you've done um and i think that you're stepping back and reflecting on that and i think that that's a fantastic place to be i don't think there's anything haughty about this i think that if this is you and you achieved something I think you're getting a lot of recognition right now right I think you may have received an award or something here and I think that's fantastic okay again we come up with the justice card and this will be about something I think what happens here too could be taking responsibility and realizing that whatever journey you're on or whatever is ahead of you is going to have bumps in the roads it's going to have delays but you're willing to take on all of this to achieve what you want, right? This is a lot of hard work and dedication in here. And that's what I think is happening. I think two obstacles and delays can come up in certain areas here. Okay. 
and I think that this is coming up soon. So I think it's just really taking stock of something, right? How much do I want to invest in this? Do I have the time to invest in this? Do I have the resources to invest in this, right? This is really just taking a look at what you've got and what you're willing to do, right? Do you want to invest in something like this? Do you want to, whatever it is, you're taking stock of what you're doing, right? Maybe, you know, you realize that it's not the right time for this, but another time might be. And what do I need to do in the meantime? What do I need to sacrifice in the meantime to do something? What do I need to get a degree like that? What do I need to get recognition like that? What do I need to pull my life in that kind of a direction, right? Whatever side of the fence you're on. Or it's like now I'm here and it's going to take a lot more of an investment. And I realize that it's not going to happen overnight. I'm going to need to be patient. I'm going to need to deal with obstacles. Not everything is smooth, right? But in those not smooth moments are where we really gain the, the foundations that help us get there, right? Like when we're there, we can now stand on our own. So however this is playing out for you, whether you are the person in the spotlight or whether you're admired and wanting to, whether you're admiring someone else, right? And wanting to pull your life in a better direction here. I think you've got to be willing to look at the not so pleasant things behind the scenes of, of what is going on, right? Okay. Now I think what you need to know here is the Ace of Wands, right? And this is the firepower. This is the whatever it is that you want. It's a good card for momentum. It's a good par card for energy. If you've not been feeling well, this is saying that you can get back on the horse in the very near future here, okay? And we've got the King of Coin or Cups here. I'm sorry, the King of Diamonds. What I really feel around this is that Sometimes we, I think you're a very hard worker. I think you're a very tough person on yourself. I think that this is just a recognition of the things that we need to sacrifice in life to get ourselves ahead, right? But we want to be conscious here that we're not um, like my life is like this because, you know, I'm, I have no friends or I have no relationships because this is important to me. I've got to pull this ahead. Be very careful with the justice card. What's coming up in the future is that make sure that your ego is not getting in there. And by that, I'm talking about our external egos that show up as defense things. Like, like my life, I have no other life in any other area, but I've got a rock solid career, right? Someone could be coming at you with something like that, or you may be addressing something like that, or this may be your answer for something. And I'm not saying that you don't have the right to do this or to feel like this. Of course, your life is yours and you're the only one that can can do it. But I ask you with the Ace of Wands is, are you directing your energy in, the, in a balanced way or is it concrete in one way? Because I have a feeling here coming in with that Four of Swords, that Four of Swords can be a card of knowing when to take a pause and when to step back. And this card right here can be a card of just saying, uh, being very stubborn, being very stuck in their ways. Like once they get up, be in their bonnet, you're not going to change their mind on anything, right? And that's what I've got about that. There can be an arrogance behind that, right? It's not an intentional arrogance, but it's a it's a reflective, um, like this. Like you're kind of just saying, you're stuck in your ways. You know you're stuck in your ways. It's your way. It's your way. It's your life, right? but you feel the need to defend it anyway. And I don't think you need to because with the Ace of Wands, it, it's it's prime energy. Some people have energy in throughout their whole lives where it's like constantly on the gas pedal. That's just the life that they're given, right? It's the energy that they have to work with, right? And that's what I've got. Unexpectedly here, we've got um, the Ten of Swords, right? Which is, I'm going to say, something may have gone too far and clarifying it is the king of swords and it's exactly that it's the it's the i'm not gonna think about it i'm just gonna do it i'm gonna you know and you've got to look at the irony in these two cards right because they're both kings so they're both stable they're they're kings main queens maintain kings destroy like they they take it a step further and that's what I'm saying by that. And with the Ten of Swords, it's a success card. But what is the cost, right? Because the card here in the unexpected with the King of Swords is like kind of saying, 
what is the fiddle you're playing to? What is the, you know what I mean? Like it's, it's, what have you sold your soul for? You know what I mean? Like you may have all of these beauty, um, all of this, you know, you're in favor and all, and this is, you know, whatever side of the fence you're on here, it's like someone is now going to have to maintain that life. And in here, it asks you, is the price worth it? And only you have that answer. This is not a negative or a positive. It's, it's just saying in here, the unexpected is you may want to look at, is this worth it? Right? Is this, is this worth it for you? I think some, and I'm going to point something out in here too, because someone um, may be having health issues in this reading, and this would probably be a good time to point out, um, to just reassess the value in your life. What is the, what is of real value in your life? Um, what is, what is the cost of your health? Would you still do this if you knew that it was costing you your health, I guess is where I'm going with that. Because I think for some of you, you get your health back, like you had maybe a health scare or something, but your, your health comes back. Or something, you know, there's a cost in here, and I don't know if it's a cost in material or if it's a cost in some kind of health thing. Okay, because on the outbound, we've got the three of coins, in reverse, right? So this is a card of maybe someone not working to their potential. You've got your eye on somebody. You've got your eye on a lifestyle. You've got your eye on something. And you can have this. It's just you've got to also get in there on the days that you don't want to um, make the sacrifice. Go slow have the longevity, put the work in. This is saying here, if you want it, you've got to get clear about what it actually takes to attain it, what it actually takes to sustain it, what it actually takes to get there, and the sacrifices that you have to make, right? And this card is coming in, and, and it, there's a stubbornness with this card, right? It's like, a, I'm going to do it my way. It's like a kind of a balls to the wall kind of, that kind of, of way, right? Like really just stubborn and wanting to do things your way, period, right? And what we've got here is the Ten of Swords with the King of Swords. And this is the same thing. You know what I mean? One is very emotional and is just going to do it from that point of view. And this one is really rational. But when you don't connect the two, you have to ask yourself here with the Three of Swords, a Three of Coins, what is it that you're part of or are you not, right? Because we've got the three of coins in reverse here, which is saying you're not putting the work into something. You just want the aesthetics, right? So ask yourself, because what happens here is it also comes in with the ten of wands, right? And you have the ten of swords in here. So the key here is, again, this is a card of, of forgiveness, right? It's a card of maybe you had a falling out with someone here or you neglected something in your life here and now you're looking at the cost of that. That There's power in this. There's power in recognizing this because whatever it is, there's a resolution here, right? There's some kind of like spiritual connection with someone in here. So this could be a relationship that maybe took second fiddle to something, um, something changes, your life changes, and I think that somehow something is teaching you a lesson in something that you've been going through or something that you will be going through. And it's what is of real value in your life here. Maybe you need to slow down. Maybe you need to get more ambitious, right? Maybe you promised somebody something here and it fell short, right? And you're jealous of someone else's life or someone is jealous of your life, whatever side of the coin you're fitting on. But there is a, a card of someone who went the distance or who was going the distance, put the time in, did the sacrifice. And then there's someone on the other end who is admiring that, but is never going to get their ass off the couch. So you're being asked to get your butt off the couch is basically what's happening here. 
I think too, if you want to hedge this on a last relationship, it's like someone is trying to sell you something. They're trying to sell you a lifestyle that they just don't have, right? So you could be someone, and I've seen this, you could be someone who has all of your ducks in a row and are really working towards something. And you're aligning yourself with someone that is telling you that they're doing the same exact thing, only they're not. So I think that a resolution comes somewhere here at the end of this. And I think you're kind of shocked at how someone portrayed themselves to you. And they're not at all in that. They're not at all like that, right? That would be like you, a very ambitious person, having everything together for the most part and having worked really hard for that. And you're now aligning with someone or you're you're starting a relationship or you're getting into a relationship and you're just starting to realize that someone's defenses tend to go up in a certain area. Someone is maybe a little bit ego driven or defensive or offensive or just not really who you thought they were, right? But there's a resolution here because that is what this speaks of. It's, it's someone needing to get their stuff together and there's some kind of resolution here where someone apologizes and you accept the apology. Let's see a little bit more what this is about. I have a feeling here that you're aligning with someone or you did align with someone that isn't who they said they were. And it doesn't mean that their ambitions can't be there. It just means they're not, right? Yet. They're not there yet. Follow what feels good in the moment, every moment, and it will lead you through the most excellent life. You've done this. You've followed your dreams. You've followed your path. That's exactly what you did, right? But I don't think that someone in your surroundings is doing the same thing because we've got a big kind of ego-centric kind of thing going on here where these are very hard energies. These are very... Um, people stuck in their ways and they're not really willing to change on things. This one is very emotionally stuck in their ways. Like it's their way and only their way and that's about it. And over here, it's it's kind of the same thing. It's But you've got to have your heart in alignment with your head and then you can really merge this. And I think what happens here is that's exactly what comes here. I think that something, it's like two people who have very different lives are starting to listen to themselves. You know, I really wasn't thinking about it that way, or I, I really must have not heard what you said, or I must have not understood what you said, right? Or something like that. A lot of times people just assume that, well, this person has been with me. This person knows me. How could they not know this? You know, don't assume that. Have the conversation because what comes out here is a conversation that comes out, a long needed conversation and there's reconciliation here. There's an I'm sorry and an acceptance. And here's the conversation. Someone may have been, you know, not real. They may have been lazy in a relationship or lazy in something, right? And I think that while that was going on, there was a lot of... Uh, admiration for other people but you didn't just you you didn't do it for yourself basically is kind of where I'm going with that I just feel in here that it's a lot you need to put effort into something or someone in your life needs to put effort into something that you've already done you know what I mean you've put the effort in you've done the work and someone else has not our thoughts become our words, our words become our beliefs, our beliefs become our actions, our actions become our habits, and our habits become our realities. That in a nutshell, I know we've also gotten, and that's what's coming up here. It's someone who, you have done the work, you've got someone in your sphere here who hasn't. They just want the rewards of that. So it's kind of like you want to reap what someone else has sown. So you've got that going on 
in, in some kind of relationship in your life here. But the good news is that a conversation at the end of this comes out and it's the, it's the, it's the ticket to open something here, right? And that's what it's about. Sometimes people get stuck in their ways and they just don't realize that they're doing it. But a long overdue conversation gets taken here and it frees up something. So a relationship becomes much, much better here. Instead of being envious of something, someone now works towards that themselves. And there's an admiration here, right? But it's it's needing to take a look at that, right? And where you might fall in, you may sabotage yourself somewhere or someone in your life does that. So you may need to be, you, you know, you may be, you may need to rise above and just have the honest conversation, you know, that you need to put the work in over here to do this. And this could be exactly what's going on here. So that is the reading. I hope that I helped you in some way. We are in really turbulent energies right now, but there is no better time than to pull your life ahead. So however this plays out for you, old dogs can learn new tricks. And I think that you've got mindsets in here in your surroundings or yourself that are just stuck in old ways that are not going to get you anywhere. So use this energy to pull yourself ahead so that you have the advantage to change your life and to change things that you don't like, right? We're never under the foot of someone else unless we put ourselves there. And that's in, in this particular reading I'm speaking of, okay? That's what I've got. I hope you, I helped you in some way. Again, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for the lax in, um, I'm trying to get back on track, but family needs to take priority. So I'm trying to balance these things out. Okay. Thank you so much.